I hope you guys see my screen. So first of all, learn and <clears throat> welcome to all of you. Okay, thanks for joining and keeping your time for this session. So many of you guys attended my last webinar on support and resistance. So today, first in 10-15 minutes, we'll recap the first webinar. What we learn in the support and resistance. I last webinar I mean told that how to use the support and resistance to trading then how to save your capital and all these things regarding trading psychology so many of new members are there in a group so for them only i just recap the support and resistance and after this recap if you have any questions on support and resistance we'll do a small question answer session for the only on the support and resistance for the last webinar if not then we'll go for the today's webinar so in today's webinar i just let you know guys we'll we'll cover the moving average okay we'll cover the candlesticks how to use the moving average what is the moving average and how to read the candlesticks okay so these two new points will today cover and on this how to club support and resistance with moving average and candlesticks i will show you one setup how to trade on that and hopefully this will be very useful for you in a day-to-day -day trading okay so after that we'll have the question answer session so we'll start with the recap of support and resistance okay so just a minute so give me a minute so yeah so we'll we'll see the what is the support and resistance so those who already know just bear with me this is for the new guys those who are in a new in a group or new in a market so i want those guys also in come on the same level where you guys are so support and resistance so in last session we will see the support and resistance so what is mean by support so if you see these two lines okay these two lines and if market stocks go in a, this like direction like this so many times stocks go like this only so this line is called as resistance okay resistance and this line is called as support okay so last session we'll see the how to draw the support how to draw the resistance to draw support to draw resistance we need at least two points so this is one point and this is second point so from this point i'll draw this resistance line and this is the first point okay this is the second point from this i draw the support so not necessary support or resistance is always in a horizontal horizontal support resistance work really well but they can be a, like a trend lines in in up upward direction or in a downward direction okay so these are the concept of support and resistance so i just want one or two guys to uh, talk with me so who is there in the last session suggesting me so i will unmute them so we'll have an interactive session So those who in the last session just ping me in the chat box. Nilesh Deshpande. Okay, Nilesh. Sushant and Nilesh. I just unmute Sushant. Sushant and Nilesh. Nilesh. Yeah, Sushant and Nilesh. Uh, yes, Atul. Uh, uh, I have also attended last time seminar. It was uh, really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so in that session, I was... yeah, yeah, so okay. stay with me. So I will ask some questions or some. I need some support to discuss this topic. Okay. So Nilesh is there? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can hear you. So just stay with me. So we'll go in the chart and I will will see how support and resistance work. Okay. So if you see on my screen. You can see my uh, investing.com screen? Yes, I can see it. Okay. okay. So we'll, we'll just go and just right now I explain how to draw the support and resistance. So this is the recap of last session. After that, we'll start on the uh, today's webinar. So for new members, it will be easy to understand. Okay. So first, if you see, I just go in a daily time frame and I will reset. But for intraday, we will always use the 15 minute time frame. As you know, guys, intraday we use 15 minute time frame. Okay. Okay. 
So just stay with me, Tushan. If anything there, I will I will just ask you to join. Uh, talk. Place the, I just minimize the chart. Okay. And if you guys see on my chart, I just by seeing I just mark the horizontal line here. Okay. This is a chart of bank nifty. So if you see on my screen. exactly from here it takes the resistance in past also it takes the resistance and again in past it takes the support on this area again on this area so this is a strong resistance or support for the bank nifty bank nifty cross this level either bank nifty go up or bank nifty go down from taking resistance here so if you see here it takes the resistance exactly and so the candlestick created on that area on the resistance area is have some definition so today we'll see that how to predict that key on support or resistance it will be or it will be going down or taking reversal from that so from candlestick you can predict that so today we'll in a later on session we'll see the candlesticks also so if you see on this area there is some candlestick pattern so it a reversal candlestick pattern and market goes down um, nilesh can you can you mute yourself So like this, we can use the support and resistance. So hope you guys understand how to use the support and resistance. So I just take random chart for one more chart for the support and resistance rather more rather than the bank. It will be the Axis Bank or we'll take other SDFC Bank. We'll take overly time frame. So if you see so on from past data just we need to mark the lines okay so this is the one resistance that i marked from past data for sdfc bank so why this line i mark i see this and i see this area my voice is clear all of you i see some comment voice is low just put in the chat box Sushan, my voice is clear uh it's somewhat shaky but uh, it's audible okay now now it's uh yes clear okay okay so it's a clear okay thank you sagar sham so yeah so again we'll go so if you see on hdfc bank sushant why this resistance i mark here hello sushant uh it's a resistance Ah, so why how i mark and why i mark so i take this point and this point here so this is the two points i mark the horizontal line and after that one i take some here so if it breaks here it goes up okay so like this so you can use the support and resistances to uh, trade the but now in last session we just see the support and resistances so at that session we don't know at the support area or at the resistance area for example this is the support area or this is the resistance area once stock comes in this area it will break or it will go down so how to predict that for that we need to understand the candlesticks okay or sometimes stock comes on the support area sometimes it's break sometimes it's not break and taking the resistance a uh, support and going up so whether it take the support or it going to break we'll see uh, from candlestick we, we we are going to predict it's not 100 percent sure it will break on candlestick but probability increases it will take support or it will going to break it okay so today we'll we'll cover the candlestick and the uh one more indicator that what is moving average okay so anyone anyone have questions on support resistance so just ask we'll take five minutes question answer and then we'll go for the candlesticks and the moving average so put in the chat box anyone have question i will unmute them so i i wind up this support and resistance very quickly because last session is only on support and resistance so anyone have questions just put in the chat box if otherwise i will further for the next session proceed for the next session
how many resistance or support points we have to consider to draw the line sandeep we need only two points minimum two points maximum jitna jyada point hoga utna acha hai but we need a two points minimum okay so if you take any any stock uh, like just a minute so i just take this or i can take a bank nifty only so i just go into 15 minutes so for marking the support or resistance you need uh, two points only okay two points or any one point also is enough where from where market is change the direction drastically okay now this is market if you see here market going in up direction and going down from here so this uh, one point also you can put a resistance line so we can put a horizontal line on high of this candle and this is also your resistance so if you see i just mark this point but in past exactly take this support here only going up and then after that it's down going break out taking resistance here going up and after that it's breaks and going up so minimum two points any line you want to join you need a two points so uh, maximum the points good the resistance or support but minimum two points okay sandeep clear hai okay so anyone have questions okay i don't think so ki kisi ko questions hai will will go for the next okay so on my screen if you see will have the support resistance and support so now we'll see first we'll see moving average and then we'll go for the candlestick okay so what is moving average okay so i just explain here and how to use that moving average only on moving average also how we can trade that also we can see today sandeep why 15 minutes candle chart so if you cannot uh, in 15 minute you get the more opportunity lesser the time frame in intraday you get the maximum opportunities to trade if you take 2 hours time frame so only 3 candles will be there so how you can find out the any patterns how to write find out the um, any support resistance so if you take 1 hour time frame only 6 hour market is there so only 6 candles are there so from that how you can trade so for that uh, number of candles jitna jyada candles hoga utna jyada opportunity aapko catch karne ko milega so 15 minute is the best as per my experience and many of the traders i also i use on for bank nifty i use 5 minutes time frame on that i can trade and in for stocks or equity i use 15 minutes so you get a good data on screen number of candles on screen to predict the market okay so if you take one hour time frame then it will not be intraday it will be a positional trade because in one hour time frame only six candles per day will be created okay okay so let's move on to the next topic so moving average okay so moving average what is the moving average okay so many of or you already know the moving average so i just quickly show you the definition and i will directly go for the how to use the moving average so if you add the moving average in any chart like this line comes okay sorry Uh, guys keep your questions for question answer session now i will i will cover the uh, content for up to date and then end of the session we'll have the question answer so if you have any questions just write it down in your notebook and ask at the end of the session okay whenever you add the any moving average in a in any stock or in a, any index so it's like this line comes okay so bear with my drawing so this line comes like this lines comes so if me moving average so many times if you call the moving average you call as a five moving average i mean i just type ma 10 10 ma 15 ma so i just uh, taking random number so what is five moving average what is 10 moving average what is 15 moving average so it's the average price of last five candles so if if you are in a 15 minutes time frame okay just for reference if you are in a 15 minute time frame for intraday if you are in a 15 minute time frame so 5 ma is what last this 5 candles of 15 minutes 
okay five candles of 15 minutes is the average price of that so line automatically drawn on that average price okay and moving average is there so accordingly you can use the moving averages and there are one more moving average so there are two types of moving average simple moving average okay and then exponential moving average So how to calculate that and all we don't want that we don't want to get in the calculation mode okay so simple moving average is what simple moving average giving the weightage to all the candles on the same so that, as i show here these are the five candles for 15 minutes so five moving average giving the weightage to same for all and calculating average price so like if you want if you five guys are in a one room and you want to calculate average of your weight so you, what you did you did some of your weights so some have 50 kg some of 60 kg uh, some of all five guys weight and divided by five so these are the average price like that simple moving average reading did so it calculating closing value of that candle and adding all and divided by five so for the five moving average if 10 moving average divided by 10 so don't go in a calculations we don't need calculations so for your understanding i'm telling and one more moving average is there exponential so exponential moving average giving the weightage to the maximum weightage to the recent price action or so recent candle okay so that's why and for trading recent price actions or recent activities going on the chart is very important for intraday traders so we always use the exponential moving average so for now you just you guys just delete this so you don't think about this simple moving average we are not using the simple moving average for your information i just tell okay so we use the only five uh, only exponential moving average okay so exponential moving average we only use exponential moving average so its shortcut is ema ema exponential moving average okay so i will i will go into the chart and i will show you how to add the exponential moving average in the chart and how to use that and which value moving average you have to use So what is DMA? So Sanant, DMA is the daily moving average. It's nothing different. DMA is the daily moving average. So it's on time frame. Daily time frame, if you use the moving average, it's a daily moving average. It's a DMA. So wait, keep your questions far at the moment. We'll take end of the session. Okay, so exponential moving average and which so I will just explain you in a chart how to add the exponential moving average in a chart and which value. So there are n number of moving averages you can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. So by experience or by some, so we decided some values. So which which to use. So let's go into the chat and first see how to add the moving average in a any stop. Okay. So now if you see on my screen now bank nifty chart is there. Okay. So this is the naked chart. So if you go here in indicators. I just go indicators and type EMA. So if you see moving average exponential, I just add this. Okay. So I just added moving average here exponential. So if you see in the tree of the bank nifty entry, there is a one EMA nine. By default, there is a nine EMA. So we'll go in a setting of that. So for setting, if you go on a format or you can double click on the line that comes on the chart. So I double click on the line. So in inputs, you can change the value, whatever you want. For example, if you want 50, you can add 50 here. In style, you can change the color, whatever you want. I want black color for 50. I make it black. Uh, increase the thickness. So as for this, you can increase the thickness and OK. OK, so how this comes? So this is the 50 moving average. Why? I put it the value of 50. OK, so this is the 50 moving average. So hope you guys understand how to add moving average, exponential moving average in the chart. Just put in the chat box, you understand. So I will I will tell you which value moving average use for the intraday trading and how to use that. Just put in the chat box, you understand how to add the moving average. Because there are many pressures are in, in this session. So just put in the chat box, you understand how to add the EMA in the chart. Okay, English, thank you. Perfect. Okay, so yes. So this these are the moving average and just 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 I explained simple moving average and exponential moving average so don't use simple moving average okay just only use 
exponential moving average and so how to add exponential moving average i just explained so which moving average, which price moving average you have to use because there are n number of moving averages okay so i just tell you so for use of that yeah yes and i will explain how to draw so if you see i just again remove so this is the naked chart sandeep on my screen and if you want to add exponential moving average in that go to the indicators so there is an indicator tab in any platform there is an indicator tab i am using investing.com but you can use zerodha upstocks any any platform there is an indicator tab just go on that and type ema ema or you can directly type by exponential moving average exponential so if you see moving average exponential is coming i click on that so i click by default there is a nine value exponential moving average comes sorry so so i want to change the setting so how to change the setting if you see on here so there is a tab of format i click on that so i will go in the setting tab or you can double click on the moving average so i just go now format color you can take any color whatever you want so i want black color i increase the thickness of that so fr from here you can increase the thickness of your line okay and in the input you can change the value if you want i want 25 now so i just put 25 and i will add so it like that it's added on the screen okay clear sandeep how to add how to use which value to use i will explain but how to add you can clear is yes, okay now now come to the point which values to add so there are multiple values that people are using in a while trading so from my experience and from my understanding i use so just for you i see it's a 9 20 okay 50 and a 200 okay so 920 is for intraday and 50 and 200 is for mid term or long term mid term or long term okay and 920 is for intraday intraday so these are the four four indicator exponential moving average that i use for my trading so for the intraday i use 920 and for long term or mid term or any positional trade that i take for two two days five days one week i use 50 and 200 so these are the values i use so how to use that so hope you guys clear so if you want you can take write down these values okay and i will just now go into the chart so i just again i go to ema if i click four times so it comes four times four ema so first i need first i need a 9 so i put here 9 so that black color is 9 second i need 20 so i take 20 i change the color i change the red color for the 20 okay so it's a 20 third i need a 50 so i take a blue color for 50 i take a 50 okay then i need a 200 i take this color for 200 so so these are the four in moving averages Prasad, no any specific reason. This is the from my experience, and uh, this is working for me. So initially, you use this only. And after some experience, you can check any value that suits you, for, suits your trading, and you can use any. But as per my ten year ten years of experience, these values are using uh, working for me. So I am working on these values of EMA. So no any specific reason for that. So. As as of now, I higher the fifty and two hundred. I will explain it later. So this is for long term or mid term. But for intraday, I am using nine and twenty. Okay. So if you see on my screen, I just tell you that I use the five minute time frame for Bank Nifty. If you guys are you trading Bank Nifty, so how to use this moving averages? Okay. So I just explain you the cross over concept here. So. there are two concept to use the ema positive crossover over and negative crossover okay so what is mean by positive crossover okay 
so what if you see this is the black line this is my black line is my 20 moving average okay and this red line this red line is my 9 moving average so 9 moving average crosses from below to upside to the 20 moving average this area this crossover is called as positive crossover okay so lower time frame lower the moving average chota wala moving average jo hai bade moving average ko from lower to upside cross karega so it's called as the positive crossover and same my 20 moving average is this okay then my 9 moving average is this so 9 moving red one is my 9 moving average so from above to below uh, lower side or downside this crossover is called as negative crossover this is called as negative crossover from up to down negative crossover and this crossover is called as positive so, chota wala small moving average crossing big moving average from lower to upside it's called positive moving average and upside to lower side is called negative crossover so hope you guys understand positive or negative crossover so i will explain you in a chat how to trade that but just put in the chat box you are clear with the positive crossover or negative crossover yes okay so clear as the form so this is called as the positive crossover this is called as the negative crossover so how to trade that let's go into and see in the chart so i just hiding that and i so i so just see on my screen there are only a moving average okay so nine moving average is a black color so if you see on here also on my screen here you can see the colors also so 20 is the red and nine is the black okay so small one is the nine big one is the 20. so uh, you Sushant, you are with me or you are muted yes Sushant, you are with me now yes so just tell me as per concept which which crossover is this this is positive yeah this is positive crossover okay then uh, again we'll go so this is this is this one is negative negative crossover so concept is clear positive negative so how to trade on that concept i just explain you now so whenever there is a positive crossover okay there is a positive crossover go for buy okay and whenever there is a negative crossover go for sell or book your buy buy profit book profit in a positive cross you are in a trade where to book your profit to profit book on a negative crossover so where to exit the trade? Exit the trade on a negative crossover. Okay, clear, Sushant? Yes, yes, clear. Okay, so positive crossover pe buy karna hai, negative crossover pe trade ko exit karna hai. Or negative crossover ko aap sell kar sakte if you want to sell and buy at positive crossover. Jo short selling bolte hai musen. Okay, so I will I will show in a chart. So this is the bank nifty chart of yesterday's only. Okay, so we'll take a recent example will not go in a history recent recently there is a positive crossover okay on this area clear it yes so i will just show the chart so this candle so whenever positive crossover happen whichever candle close so just take carefully sunna sab log kyunki this is very important ki kahan pe entry lena hai aur kaise exit karna hai so whenever there is a you see ki moving average crossover ho raha hai okay so the candle who close above the moving average with the crossover above that candle you go for the buy okay above that candle you go for the buy your stop loss will be below that candle technically but your exit will be as per the exit case rega, Sushan, negative crossover yes negative crossover so for that now it's almost you get on same day yesterday only you get 153 point in the bank nifty okay for intraday only if you see or with the same concept if you entered here this is the positive crossover okay so positive crossover this green candle is our entry candle because we go for the buy so above this we go for the buy below this your stop loss is 
and after that you get almost 450 points in a bank nifty so it's a bank nifty you can take any any I just go in axis bank and uh, i will keeping time frame so let, let's take time frame for 15 minutes so stocks i use the 15 minutes so if you see axis bank and we are talking about the intraday only okay so if you see on friday only this this is the positive crossover candle close above the positive crossover so this is your entry this is your stop loss and in, in same day you get almost 11 points in axis bank only so stop loss ke paas to aaya nahi but still you are in a trade tomorrow also axis bank may go up only because there is no any chance seeing to negative crossover because ema is going up only clear is question yes clear so hope you guys understand how to buy this uh, buy on the moving average crossover and how to sell okay so just take one two example more so people will understand so sbi so if so we will go in the past also history also uh, one more thing important thing it's working on 100% times no sometimes it will take your stop loss there are much more parameters to see for trading i'm not covering all that in a one session where i using i have my own setups and all these other parameters other indicators but for you guys to start with with the basic these are the sessions so sometimes it takes stop losses also because in sideways market this strategy is not work so but benefit of this strategy is your stop loss will be very low okay whenever it hits the stop loss it's two to four point stop loss only hit it otherwise it gives you good profit only okay so 60 to 70 percent times it work 30 times it will not work because in sideways market it will not work so if anyone can say you my strategy is working for 100 percent times which would go right so nothing strategy is working for 100 percent time so this also not working 100 percent it's worth 60 to 70 percent so how to avoid that 30 percent for that in future will take say more sessions i use my own setups other indicators there are multiple indicators or multiple ways to trade on so if you see on sbi so here i see here i clearly see positive crossover okay so i entered on this area and i exited on this area so in sbi only i get the almost 7 8 point move so intraday 7 8 point moves or 4 point moves in sbi sbi lot size for future is 3000 so if you give get only 3 4 points it will give you a 10 to 12 thousand rupees profit in a day only okay so hope you guys clear how to use positive negative crossover to trading any question on this just put in the chat box anyone have any questions on this what is the exponential moving average which values to use how to use clearing so at least for now whenever on this my agenda is for this session at least now whenever you go for the trading at least you guys see and check is, it, is there positive crossover if anyone if now you are trading there are many new members they are trading randomly they don't have any technical analysis they don't know about the technical analysis they do random trading so now at least henceforth you don't do random trading at least check is there positive crossover if you are going for buy is there negative crossover if you are going for sell at least on this basis also if you trade now you get 100 percent you will save your capital you are uh, you are saved from big losses Prasad, yes, we'll come on that. Prasad, we'll come on that. Don't worry. Gulshan, you can change the value whatever you want. The value I given is as per my experience, uh, my 10 years of experience, that value I used. You can, I, just I explained, you can use from 1 to 1000. There is no limit to which value to use. This value is for, from my experience that I use in my day-to-day -day trading and I get successful from last 3 to 4 years on this value only. So for that, I use the, this value. Okay, so so this is a eight nine using if you use eight ten jada kuch farak nahi padega. But this value was my values that I use, and this is give me a good result. So if you see here, and one more thing that I missed to tell you, sub moving average acts like the support and resistance also. These are these dynamic support and resistance. Okay, so these are the support and resistance also. If you see here, comes to the. 20 EMA and take support and goes again up. 
so many times it acts as a support or resistance okay but but we are not using this much for support and resistance i also not prefer to use moving average as a support and resistance i use only for positive negative crossover for my entry and exit okay so it work really well for entry and exit okay so if you see any stock like tata steel i think this so if i take tata steel so if you see on last last trading day so i get the negative cross over here so with below this candle i go for the sell and same in intraday i take almost 9 points 9.5 points and my risk is above that kind of 1.5 so dead rupees are risk and i get the profit of almost 9.5 so 1 as to 9 risk reward ratio if you calculate risk reward ratio i go short here my stop loss is above that candle 1.2 rupees and if you see last so your risk reward ratio is almost 7 8 so on this strategy if you are entering in a 8 1000 quantities in a starter steel on last trading day your risk is 1000 1200 rupees risk the your profit will be 8000 no rupees so this is the power of this strategy once you get perfect entry and exit yes and this is a stock that why i am referring 15 minutes chart just i told in a stocks, I use 15 minutes or in an index like Bank Nifty, I use 5 minutes. That is my way of working. You check what is suits for you. Bank Nifty is highly volatile. That's why I use 5 minutes. Stocks are not that much volatile. So I use 15 minutes for stocks. So this is a Tata Steel example. That's why I take 15 minutes. Whenever I take the Bank Nifty example, I use 5 minutes. Okay. So hope you guys clear how to use the moving average for so any questions on that how to buy where to buy stop loss sabse important kya hai you know where your stop loss is nowadays many people from our group message me personally sir itna 50000 loss hua 30000 loss hua why itna loss hua un logo ko stop loss kaha pe lagana hai wohi pata nahi hai at least now on this strategy you can know where is your stop loss if you take the example of this in front of my screen tata steel Tata Steel, your entry candle will be this. This red candle is your entry candle. Okay, below that you can sell. Above that your stop loss. So you know your stop loss. So risk you know. How much is the risk is there? So this is my risk for this trade. 1.28. 1.35 size is my risk. And against that risk, I have my this much of profit. So I, whenever you enter in a trade, at least you know the... My screen is visible, guys. Sushan, my screen is visible. Okay, so I just get one message, screen is not visible. So, Gaurav, check at your end. My screen is visible for all guys. So, at, so, just one thing that I want to tell you guys. Whenever you enter in a trade, whatever profit, if you don't know profit, whatever you take, it's okay. But at least you must know the risk. If my this trade, I enter kar rahu, how much is my risk? And this is, that risk is variable for me. Yeah, the risk, aapka risk capacity is rupees hai and the trade giving you a 500 rupees risk only, you go for that trade. But without knowing the risk, don't enter in any trade. You know, if this trade goes well, it gives me 1 lakh rupees profit. But you don't know the risk, don't enter in that trade. Otherwise, wo randomly, casino jaysa hoga ki chalo, chala to chala nahi to nahi. Each and every trade must have the target, must have the stop loss. If you know your loss, where to stop loss is putting, then, then only you can run in a long term. Otherwise, your accounts will be zero in a very soon. So always, always focus on stop loss. Profit automatic returns. If you save your capital, profit aayega. Ek night in trending market milega and you will get unexpected profit. That is my experience. But save your capital and enter in a trade whenever you know your risk. Without knowing this, don't enter in a, any cap. Any trade. Okay, so hope you guys understand this moving average concept. So just put in the chat box any any questions or if, if it is clear, just put clear. So I will go for the next uh, uh, session. Okay, so I will just explain you. Uh, let me show you. So this is this is for the intraday 
some people want some positional so i just hide this my moving average for the 9 and 20 and i open my 50 and 200 okay and for positional i you i for positional i use for one week of positional i use hourly time frame okay so in hourly time frame i use reset the chart so for positional i use hourly time frame so same stock tata steel hourly time frame so and same concept so just it's going to update so on negative crosser i am going to sell and positive crosser i am going to buy so if you see yeah so if you see on tata steel i get the negative crosser here at 17th of september i think yeah so on this area i got the negative crosser so why this negative crosser if you see the color yeah shubham i will explain where to put the stop loss don't worry so if you see 50 moving average is the blue line and 200 is the uh, like yellow yellow is here so the, i just okay so negative crossover is here so on this negative crossover i go for the sell of tata steel so in this area i sell the tata steel okay and till time i am in a positional trade i am not exited from trade my exit trade is positive crossover so till time i get the 50 60 point almost but if you not enter exited it now also we are in a 33 point profit only in a tata steel so tata steel a lot size i think uh, it's around 1700 1700 lot size because if you're going to for sale you need to trade in a future so 1700 into 33 on same strategy if you enter in a tata steel for positional till time we are in a 56000 rupees profit okay so same concept you can use for positional for one week two week three week hourly time frame and positive and negative crossover of 50 and 200 so if you see tata still initially where i get positive crossover so just a minute so if you see tata still here i get the entry here okay and i get the exit here so negative crossover is exit entry to exit it's a 127 points guys 127 points in a single trade आपने ट्रेड लिया था 28 पांच को 28 मई को यू आर एग्जिटेड एट चार तीन महीने चला आपका ट्रेड कंटीन्यूअसली यू आर इन अ प्रॉफिट फॉर 3 मंथ्स एंड आपका प्रॉफिट 127 पॉइंट है सो so, 127 पॉइंट इनटू 1700 इफ यू आर इन अ वन लॉट ओनली 2 लाख 15000 इन अ वन लॉट ओके सो इफ यू आर डूइंग इन मल्टीपल लॉट्स यू आर इन अ ह्यूज प्रॉफिट सो एंड whenever you get this type of opportunity for positional you go for it okay so hope you understand how to go for positional and for intraday i just explain the where to put stop loss so many questions got me in the chat box so just a minute so i just open my intraday ema 9 and 20 okay and then in positional just a minute i will explain so if you see in intraday this is the tata steel so whichever candle closing now i can go for the selling on this candle this candle low okay because negative crossover is happen here so whichever candle you see near to the crossover if i sell below this above this candle my stop loss will be okay like that and for buying trade i just show you the buy trade so you can understand i change this stock so if you see so this is the bank nifty so so on this candle i see the here i see the positive crossover so this candle closing above this so i entered above this candle and stop loss below this candle for my intraday okay so whenever i see the positive crossover so candle near to that crossover closing above the crossover entry above that and stop loss below that Say, say how to decide so you can use in for intraday 9 or 20 ema and for positional you have to use 50 and 200 that i already explained okay so hope you guys understand how to use uh, stop loss in intraday and for in a uh, positional i just show you how to put stop loss in positional so for positional if you see now this is the bank chart 
थैंक यू संदीप थैंक यू तो दिस इज अंक निफ्टी आई विल चेक स्टॉक चार्ट सो पोजिशनल जस्ट आई टोल्ड यू आई टेक वन अवर टाइम फ्रेम ओके सो नाउ आई जस्ट रिसेट दिस that is working slowly just bear with me so i just tell you how to put stop loss for the positional so positional you don't put a stop loss in a system it's a mind stop loss because your trade is work uh, going on one day one day two day or one week two week three week you don't know so your exit will be on, on negative crossover once you enter in a for positional keep in mind i just if you want if you want take a snapshot this I, i will i will remove all this so write down this value 920 for intraday 50 200 for mid term or long term okay so i just remove. so for positional if you entered on this positive crossover your stop loss for positional you guys don't put the stop loss in a system because this is a positional trade it's not an intraday trade so don't put a stop loss in a system and whenever you get the negative crossover you exit there so if you get go here and immediately you get negative crossover immediately exit if you get the negative crossover after two weeks after that you have to exit so for positional don't need to put a stop loss immediately in a system okay because you don't get immediate negative crossover okay so hope you guys understand how to use ema so this is the very simple way of market so many people think market yeah there are much more things to learn i use multiple things but these are the basic where you can minimize your losses okay so just focus on the techniques and minimize your my agenda is to minimize your losses profits automatically comes you guys earn the money but if you when you earn the money when you park your losses so just park your losses and at least think technically yeah ये हमें पता है एटलीस्ट पॉजिटिव क्रॉसओवर नहीं है स्टिल किसी ने बताया कि अरे बाय करो तो अभी आप लोग जाके डायरेक्टली बाय नहीं करेंगे आप आप लोग चेक करेंगे कि पॉजिटिव इंटरडे बता रहा है बाय करने के लिए बता रहा है यहाँ पे पॉजिटिव है क्या देन ओनली आई कैन गो फॉर इट अदरवाइज आई कैन नॉट सो ट्रस्ट ऑन यूर सेल्फ ट्रस्ट ऑन यूर चार्ट मैंने खुद अतुल ने भी आके खुद बताया कि बाय कर ये एक लाख रुपये प्रॉफिट देगा जाके चेक करो अतुल बता रहा है बगर पॉजिटिव क्रॉसओवर है क्या हाँ है विल गो फॉर इट अतुल भी बता रहा है पॉजिटिव क्रॉसओवर भी बट अतुल बता रहा है पॉजिटिव क्रॉसओवर नहीं है मैं बाय नहीं करूंगा छोड़ देने का क्योंकि अतुल भगवान नहीं है कोई भगवान नहीं है चार्ट ही भगवान है तो चार्ट के ऊपर ही यू जस्ट फोकस ओके तो सो कैन वी कैन वी मूव गो एड लास्ट टॉपिक दैट वी हैव टू कवर इज अ कैंडल स्टिक ओके सो नाउ वी कवर इज सपोर्ट एंड रेजिस्टेंस वी कवर मूविंग एवरेज ऑल्सो so hope you guys understand moving average very well so we'll go for the candlestick okay so again for the candlestick i will start from the basic because many freshers are there so those who are experienced just bear with me or uh, stay stay with me candle the okay, candlestick so so many of you know so any stock gauro any stock for intraday trading 15 minute time frame is a good for, as per me any stock tcs ho ya infosys ho ya any stock for stocks you can use 15 minutes and for index i use preferably in bank nifty 5 minutes because the volatility okay so yeah so we'll we'll now you park your questions on em and all we'll take session, uh, question answer end of the session now i go for the candlesticks okay so my today's agenda will be covered after this So I just explaining the basic of the candlestick. So, so Sushant, you are with me? Yes, yes. So you just tell me. So you know the candlestick? Ah, uh, somewhat. Okay. So you know there are four parameters for candlestick. So you know that parameters? Ah, uh, body and week. I know. No, no body and week is there, but. you just minute i will explain first and then we'll go so i do other people also not get confused okay so so uh, any any chart whenever you see chart you see these two type of candle one green and one one green and one red okay vision yes yes yeah so this green candle is called as a bullish candle 
bullish candle means what market going up green candle means market going up so this is called as the bullish candle okay yes. this is called as a bullish candle this is a quite basic but i cover it for the new members so just bear with me and red candle is called as the bearish candle okay so bullish candle means market is going up that is the green candle red candle is called as the bearish candle market going down okay and there are four parameters for each and every candle. so uh, this area of candle this area of candle both the candles okay this area of candle is called as body body of can candle okay this area where you see the color red or green this area both the candle is called as the body and this single line in this area for both the candles uh, upside or downside is called as the wick okay wick of the candle so still here clear question yes yes so this is called as the wick this is called as the body okay bullish candle green means bullish red means bearish okay and now i just explain you each and every candle have four parameters what is that open low close and high these are the four parameters that each and every candle have open price low price close price and high price okay so i just explain you the how to predict uh, how to know that so for green candle and or red candle this what is this price vision uh, this is high for bullish candle exactly both, both bullish and bearish for both this is the high okay high. and low also for both same low side yes. this is the low this is the low so this is called as low low of the candle this is called as low of the candle okay so there are low value low price of candle you know now you know bearish candle where is low bearish candle where is high bullish candle where is high bullish candle where is low now two parameters pending open and close so as i said bullish candle means what market going up so bullish candle starts from here so open point is this this is open point okay yes open here so it's open point and going up na market going up that's why it's open here and this is a close this is a close of this candle so this point is close so open gap between open and close is called as the body simple definition gap between open and open price and close price it's called as the body so this is the body of any candle okay so market green candle means what market going up so open at lower price and closing at higher price means market going up so that's why its color is green and it's sir So now tell me, Sushant, where is the open of this bearish candle? Uh, it's at the near to high. Yeah. So this. Okay. Yes. Yes. So this is the open for bearish candle. Why this is open? Market opens at high price and close at lower price. That's why it's the market going down. So it's the bearish candle. So this is the open and this is the close for the bearish candle. Again, same. gap between open and close is the called as the body that i show you so hope you guys understand how to uh, where the open and close of the bullish and where the open and close of the bearish high and low are same for the both so if you guys want to take a snapshot of this and just put in the chat box you have the clear definition of candlestick what is the green candle what is the red candle what is the body what is the wick what is the open low high close for both clear shubham clear so any questions anyone have on this basic because this is the very much important definition for you understand while entering in the market okay so clear is appeal okay okay so most of are saying clear it so these are the basic definition of candle okay so just go through that if you want take a snapshot and confusion nahi hona chahiye on open and close of this green candle and red candle okay whenever anyone ask you where is the open and close you just say easily i'm sure okay okay thank you shubham thank you pravin so yeah so we'll go go ahead so i will just remove this so this is the basic candlestick definition okay so after that there are types of candlesticks 
so multiple types of candlesticks so i just so there are candlesticks like engulfing so i take some basic candlestick there are multiple types of n number of candlestick pattern in the market but those working for me well i take that only because it's not possible to cover in a one hour all the stuff so i will take that so engulfing is the first okay engulfing then piercing and hammer and then doji this four four candlestick pattern i'm going to uh, cover today so i just explain quickly and we'll see in a chart okay so we'll cover done with our agenda and we'll go for the question answer for 5 to 10 minutes so what is engulfing so there are two types of engulfing bullish and bearish okay bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing so what is bullish engulfing so i just So, Sushan, tell me in first what you see. Uh, it's bullish, bullish engulfing. Okay, so uh, red think. candle is followed by green. Exactly, correct. And now we'll see. It's bullish and it's the bearish. So what is mean by bullish engulfing if you see guys so this engulfing pattern or any candlestick pattern we want in a top of the trend or bottom of the trend so i just explain you the engulfing so what is mean by engulfing so bullish engulfing if you see this red candle is completely covered by this green candle okay high and low high and low of this red candle is completely covered under the this green candle is called as the bullish engulfing once you see this pattern market and up and high of these breaks market chance of market to go upside okay for this we use the engulfing pattern same in a bearish green candle covered by this red candle totally 100 percent covered by red candle this is called as the bearish engulfing once this pattern you see below this if price goes below this market may go down okay understand sushan yes yes so this is called as the engulfing so other guys understand the engulfing definition yes so these are the engulfing okay so how to use so i just explain piercing also after that how to use i tell you because piercing is same as sandeep time frame which time frame you are working so if you are working in a stock 15 minutes time frame Time frame never change for every concept. Time frame is same. You are working in a 15 minutes, check engulfing in a 15 minutes only. If you are working in a 5 minutes, check engulfing in a 5 minutes only. Okay, clear, Sandeep? Okay. Okay, so this is the engulfing. I'm just, uh, so just, I just club this two uh, candlestick pattern together. Why? Engulfing means, I just, I told you, 100% cover by the green candle or cover by the red candle so it's called as the engulfing but if you see more than 50 percent so if if i just i just can randomly i draw one candlestick pattern and okay don't uh, i i'm not drawing the wick for that so i just drawing candlestick to explain so if you see so this candlestick pattern on this is called as the piercing bullish piercing why this red candle is covered by green candle more than 50%. So this is the 50% of this red candle. So green candle close above the 50% is called as the piercing. Okay. And complete the 100% is called as the engulfing. So 
इज द वन एंड द सेम सो इसके ऊपर यदि मार्केट जाता है इस कैंडल के देन इट चांसेस टू मार्केट गो अप ओके सेम इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन फॉर द बियरिश पियरसिंग कैंडल दिस इज वन कैंडल दिस इज द अदर कैंडल दिस इज द ग्रीन वन दिस इज रेड सो नाउ इन दिस ग्रीन कैंडल इज कवर्ड बाय रेड कैंडल मोर देन 50% अबो द मीडियन ऑफ द कैंडल सो इफ मार्केट प्राइस गोस अबो दिस कैंडल सॉरी 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 जस्ट अ मिनट इट थोड़ा उल्टा हो गया राइट So now, the, now this green candle is red candle is close below the median of the candle. So if price goes below that, market go down. So piercing and engulfing are the same. I call piercing as a half murder. Why half murder? Closing above the median, and uh, I call engulfing as a full murder because it's covering the full body. So just remembering this definition is don't take it seriously. Okay. So piercing and engulfing clear. Eh? So we'll. Go and see in a chart. Is definition clear? Is of course we will go in a chart. Sushant, what what is your question? Can you ask? Ah, uh, no question. No, actually, we have seen yesterday in Nifty. We have seen the bullish angle thing, and it uh, worked really well. No, no, Nifty. We have seen it, but it depends upon time frame. Where so we will go on chart and we will see that. But just tell me, guys, you are you are clear with the definition? What is bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, piercing, and what? Or so put in the chat box. So I will go in the chat and explain how to use that. Sham, it's not like that. Yeah. Which pattern is powerful? So both are powerful. But whenever you get this, so I will show in a chat how to use that. I mean, position of pattern is important. Where you find the patterns? Thank you, Shubham Sandeep. So we'll go go in a chart so if you see i just remove all the indicators now so if you see... so uh, sushant tell me which pattern is this uh, this is a bearish engulfing not engulfing it's a bearish pier yes okay so where i found this whenever you are in up trend okay and it's found top of the trend so how to predict it, it is a, this is a top so whenever this price is not break na the high of this candle is not break so it's a top okay okay and price breaking low then it going down so whenever you find the bearish pattern top of the trend market will go down whenever you find the bullish pattern bottom of the trend Like where bottom of the trend means what? I just tell you one more example of bottom of the trend. So, the, so what is this pattern? It's the bullish pair thing. Bullish pair thing. Yes. We are we are in a downtrend, correct? We are in a downtrend and we see the bullish pair thing. and below that there is a no action so above this we can go for buy yeah target will be high low minimum whatever it is but trend reverse from here okay so just keep in mind we want bearish patterns in a top of the trend and bullish patterns in down top of the trend you are in up trend so if you see bearish pattern here market goes down if you are a down trend you see bullish pattern here market reverse okay this is the main benefit of knowing the candlesticks clear question yes yes clear all other guys clear trend is important so bullish okay okay sham thank you okay so so it's already 11:35 so i just quickly go into the next uh, candlestick pattern okay so next candlestick pattern that is hammer and doji okay so i will just so most of you guys know the hammer and doji so hammer
this is called as the hammer hammer and this is called as the inverted hammer ulta hammer inverted hammer means ulta hammer this is called as the ulta hammer. okay so color of hammer doesn't matter whatever color it is in engulfing and piercing when in color is important so on color we decide what which is bearish which is bullish hammer we don't have any importance for color so whatever color of hammer it's fine with us okay so whenever market is so hammer i just explain you the definition of hammer so when to call the hammer so body length this is the body length okay if this is the x your lower wick will be must be more than two must be 2x and more 3x 4x must be more than the x so two to three times bigger the big than the body 2x 3x must be required okay and this this week we required very small 50 to 40 percent of your body or if there is no week also also good but this week must be bigger than your body okay same here week must be bigger than your body in that case only you call as the hammer if this is x this must be 2x or 3x clear a definition sushan yes yes clear so what is use of hammer so i just explain whenever you are in a for example you are in a uptrend and you see any hammer here inverted hammer or hammer so just whenever you see hammer so top of the trend hammer hammer is trend reversal pattern so might be trend may reverse from here hammer created so trend may reverse so hammer is a trend reversal pattern whenever you see if you are in a good downtrend and you see a hammer at the bottom maybe chances so every time there is a probability 100 percent surety will not be there so above this market will go down for that below this your stop loss will be so always know your stop loss no strategy no candlesticks or no any technical analysis give you 100 percent surety of trade so always know your stop loss while trading is stop loss kya yeah pattern aaya hai positive cross over hai sab kuch meet ho raha i can go for trade but before that you must know your stop loss ki mera loss kitna hai aur wo mujhe utna hi loss chahiye so don't ki mujhe pattern mil gaya hai uh, cross over bhi hua hai so 100% sure 100% sure trade aisa koi concept market mein hota hi nahi hai okay so hammer is the trend reversal pattern okay so we'll see hammer in a chart also i will explain the doji immediately here after that we will see hammer and doji in a chart okay so doji doji is the candlestick pattern very important candlestick pattern okay i use it multiple times yes arundhati any type of hammer is trend reversal i will show in a chart okay there are multiple definitions in a market for hammer but the this definition that i told you is from my experience any hammer is the trend reversal which hammer to consider for trend reversal? I show in a chart. Okay. So, the, so these are the, this is the doji candle. So, for doji, okay. So, basic definition of doji, keep in mind indecision in market. Market may decision nahi ho hai. So, body se jada, if you see this, we call it as a body. We need a both side weak equal to the same week if this week length is three this also three picture perfect nahi hoga kabhi kabhi chalega 19 weeks chalta hai but both weeks are same and both weeks are greater than body okay body se bada hi hona chahiye and both weeks are same this is called as the doji and doji ka meaning hai indecision in market what is mean by indecision if there are 100 100 people in the market 50 buyers ho gaye hai and 50 sellers ho gaye so that's why market not getting direction where to go Whenever there is a 30 70, their market either go in the selling side or buying side. But doji means what? Indecision in market. Market participant jitne bhi hai, 50 50 ho gaye. So market ko pata nahi chal raha hai jana hai. So how to you? So whenever you see a doji in your time frame, so put horizontal line above the doji, put horizontal line below the doji, and whichever break first. If it break first, market go up, trade accordingly. And if this break, market go down, trade accordingly. This is the criteria for doji to use. So how to use doji and how 
डेफिनेशन क्लियर है सुशांत डोजी का यस यस क्लियर तो अदर गाइस हैमर डोजी डेफिनेशन क्लियर है हाउ टू यूज हैमर एंड डोजी इन अ चैट आई विल शो यू इन अ चैट जस्ट टेल मी इन अ चैट बॉक्स कि डोजी का डेफिनेशन क्लियर है एंड हैमर का डेफिनेशन क्लियर है ओके सो विल विल सी एंड विल सी इन अ चैट क्लियर है सो विल सी इन अ चैट हाउ टू यूज डोजी एंड हैमर and which hammer is which hammer is to be considered and which is not so yeah yeah on the day no issue so yeah so if you see here so i just tell you so so shall what is this uh this is the inverted hammer inverted hammer so already we are in a good up trend okay correct Yes, yes. We are in a good uptrend, and I draw one horizontal line above the hammer. I draw one horizontal line below the hammer. So once and what I say, that hammer is a trend reversal. So in this case, me, I am lower break. Hua, so we will go into the trend. Hammer ka low break hona chahiye, because we need trend reversal. Chahiye. If the high break hota hai, we are not going in in any trend, and trend continuation hoga, and this hammer fail ho jayega. Okay. Not each and every hammer is a trend reversal. so which hammer is the trend reversal that i am explaining here jahan pe bhi aapko now we already in a good up trend we'll see hammer just put a horizontal line above the high of the hammer horizontal line low of the hammer and we want low to break once low breaks you go for the sell side and market will go down okay so now if you see here also a small hammer here also a small hammer but we are in a down trend okay uh, we are in a down trend here so we put again here horizontal line so it's breaking low only so we already in a low trend trend continuation okay so we want good good up trend or down trend and at the top of the trend or at the bottom of the trend we want hammer so the hammer which is on the top of the trend or the bottom of the trend that works well in between hammer we have to ignore okay so now if you see here we are in a good down trend okay and we see here a good hammer clear is it yes clear so above this hammer we can go for buy below this our stop loss will be if high breaks high break hua we are in a trend and from that we get almost good rally of sorry ha huh, axis bank we are in axis bank sorry so good rally of 27 point okay so hammers and all candlestick patterns in bank nifty Also, really work well. Okay, so I just show you in the bank nifty also, and in Doji how to use the Doji also. So if you see this, this is the Doji pattern. Okay, just just I have told you, body is a bit bigger than it should be, and both uh, of it same should be. So they are same week. Clear, Sushant? Yes, yes. तो मैं उसके हाई पे हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन मार्क करूंगा उसके लो पे हॉरिजॉन्टल मार्क लाइन करूंगा जैसे मैंने बोला था जो पहले ब्रेक होगा उस साइड पे हम ट्रेड लेंगे सो हाई ब्रेक हुआ तो हाई ब्रेक हुआ वी आर गोइंग फॉर द बाइंग साइड अने लो ऑफ द डोज इज आवर स्टॉप लॉस एंड फ्रॉम दैट वी गेट इन द लास्ट ट्रेडिंग डे आल्सो 272 पॉइंट इन द बैंक निफ्टी ओके फ्रॉम ओनली ऑन डोजी सो वी आर नॉट आई एम नॉट ट्रेडिंग फ्रॉम द डोजी ओनली और इन ईएमए देयर आर मल्टीपल थिंग्स टू trade there are many setups and all these things but these are the basic step that i i want you guys to know at least aapko trade karte hain pata chalega ki yaar yahan se trade nahi lena chahiye yahan pe loss ho sakta hai aur cross over nahi hai ya candlestick nahi dikh raha hai that's that that is the agenda behind this okay so let's see so again i so this again see here good hammer bottom of the trend after that you see a good reversal Okay. So, which pattern is this, Sushant? Ah, uh, which one? Okay, okay. This Pierce single thing. Yeah. Pierce thing. Yes. Pura hundred percent nahi hai na. Half meter hua hai, full meter nahi hua hai. Ah, yes, yes. Bara bara. Week baaki hai, thoda green. Week baaki hai. So it's the Pierce thing. Below this, if breaks, we'll go for the sell. If you see, only on that pattern you get a almost. 350 points rally what is your risk 
above that candle. So from here to here. In bank Nifty, you do only have 27 to 28 point risk. At 30 point ke risk, against that you get a 350 point reward. So what is your risk reward ratio for that? I just calculate from here. If you see here, short and long position. Long means buy, short means sell. So short positions we are taking below this. And our stop loss is above this candle. So I move this. So my stop loss is 30 point and I get this much. So my risk reward ratio is 11. So 1 is to 11. So who gives you 1 is to 11 in a how much time from 150 to 250. In one hour, your money will be 11 times. So if you attack 1 rupees risk, your profit will be 11 rupees. Okay. So, but if you want, but all the concept you must know. Okay, so if you see here also, we are in a good downtrend as market start at 9.15. Okay, so here we see hammer as well as both these candles see bullish engulfing. Above that we can go for buy, below that our stop loss will be. If you see the rally in a bank nifty, the rally is like this in a win of, once in a week, you are done for the month income. So 600 point, almost 600 point rally, your loss is very minimum. Okay, so exactly you get the bottom of the trend and from bottom you are catching the rally. So hope you guys understand how to use this candlestick, how to use doji, how to use hammer. So now, so, so I am done for, with my, my agenda for today. So if you guys have any questions, so we are already done with support resistance, moving average strategy, I explain you well. Hope you guys enjoy that and candlesticks also I explain whatever possible in uh, this time. So if you have any questions, just put in the chat box. So I will unmute and take one by one. We'll take next five to 10 minutes for questions. Yes, we will try to upload this video on YouTube also. Yeah, I already recorded that, so we'll see. So any questions? So any questions, just let me know. Can we take 200 quantity at the money? at low premium on expiry to get the tour yes yes we can you can take 2500 or you can take 5000 10000 whatever quantity you can want but for bank nifty in one trade you can take 2500 for taking 5000 quantities you take two trades but you can take no issue and if the, if that works well as this concept within a few minutes you get huge profit Yeah, yes, D. yes, I use the open interest and all these all advanced stuff I use for the trading. Okay, take the snapshot of this. Okay, so any anyone have any questions? So, yeah, so I hope you guys are clear with the support resistance candlesticks and EMA. No Shivam, I am not using one, frame, one minute time frame, I stick to my five minute time frame only. Because one minute time frame is highly volatile, it will shake it out anytime. Yeah, Arti, thanks, thanks a lot for joining. Yeah, Roy, thank you, thank you for joining here. Yeah. Yesterday I am using 1 to 3 risk reward ratio in the intraday. If I take 1 rupees risk, I will try to catch 3 rupees profit. Yes, I thank you. Thank you for joining. Yeah, Gaurav, most welcome. No, Nilesh, don't only only keep eye on your chart don't keep eye on any news don't add in any so don't believe on any news and all chart tell you everything so any news comes chart already tell you dot in center sir uh, sagar I, I i cannot understand your uh, question One video on 
type of trade like intraday position future yes we will try to take that also in future as per time permits will take yes and thank you thank you for your comments so guys guys if you feel good or whatever your feedback just put your feedback in a whatsapp group also so it's give your genuine feedback it's an it's a, if you feel any improvement required tell me also i take it positive and i improve in the next sessions thank you sachin yeah thank you Sach shubham attending first and second both the sessions Yes, Anand, we will try to increase the frequency of the session. Yeah, but as per time permits, I will I will improve. Thank you, Arundhati. Thank you. So yeah, so hope so let's let's close this session. If you if you guys enjoy this session, just put your feedback on the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I will I will closing the session.